Hey, we're delving deeper into teaching number 17. Well, the Euphrates River is not only a physical boundary line, but also in the Revelation, it's a spiritual one. Overly simplifying the historical context, the Roman Empire west of the Euphrates represented order, while the Parthian Empire east of the river represented chaos. When the boundary line is erased, chaos pours into the Roman Empire. Now, John is telling his readers, hold on to the faith. It's just a matter of time before your Roman oppressors have to deal with spiritual truth. Now, in the Old Testament, Israel's rebellion against God often resulted in an invading army decimating the nation. Here, John sees a demonic army decimating the citizens of Rome, the Roman Empire. As with the locusts, God's restraining forces is removed and a corrupt civilization reaps what it has sown. Without the restraining grace of God, humanity tends to leap to its darker impulses. Jeremiah wrote, the heart is hopelessly dark and deceitful, a puzzle that no one can figure out. Jesus said, it's from the heart that we vomit up evil arguments, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, lies, and cursing, um, or cussing. Hmm, I think it's cussing. The Apostle Paul wrote, since they didn't bother to acknowledge God, God quit bothering with them and let them run loose. And then all hell broke loose. Rampant evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy and their wanton killing, bickering and cheating. Look at them, mean-spirited, venomous, fork-tongued, God-bashers, bullies, swaggers, insufferable windbags. And they keep inventing ways, new ways to wrecking lives. And they did their parents when they get in the way. They're stupid, slimy, cruel, cold-blooded, and it's not as if they don't know better. They know perfectly well that they're spitting in God's face, and they don't care. Worse, they hand out prizes to those who do the worst things the best. You'll find that in Romans chapter 1, verses 28 through 32. Well, this demonic cavalry of 200 million huh, are set loose to motivate humanity to evil. Oh, my goodness. The pagan society is allowed to devour itself.